Hey guys, Jordan here from That Car Life, and today we're going to start getting the Sylvia back to how she was. Alright guys, so the plan for today is to get my Turbo Smart boost gauge put back in, along with fixing up my front lip. So, um, when the car got broken into, I think they tried to steal my front lip, um, but they ended up just breaking off this piece right here. Um, so today the plan is to um, screw this back in, uh, get the front lip put back on, and um, because my car is really low, I need to jack up the car to jack up the car, which is just, you know, low life. Um, and yeah, so I ended up picking up the same boost gauge that I had before, so the same Turbo Smart boost gauge right here. Um, and that is obviously going to go right in here. Now, I am still waiting on getting my um, A pillar, oh, sorry, my, my boost gauge pillar. Uh, it is coming in the mail. Um, but for now, I think I'm just going to put the gauge there and tape it down just so I have, um, just so there isn't a boost leak or anything like that. Um, and yeah, so slowly, slowly, she's going to start coming back together. So I ended up getting a fuse box cover off eBay um, to fix the one that, to replace the one that they stole. Um, so yeah, so the engine bay is pretty much back to how she was, which is really cool. Um, and yeah, it looks good to see it just complete again, because it did look really weird without the fuse box cover. Um, but yeah, I'm happy that's taken care of. Alright, so I reckon we'll start off with the boost gauge. So it actually, from the looks of it, it comes with all of this. Oh shit, I'm really bad. Um, it comes with a cover here, which I don't think I'll need because I'll have it in the pillar. Some bolts to hold it down, that's probably to mount it. And also some vacuum hose, which seems to be the same one here. Um, but by the looks of things, I think what I'm going to do, to be honest, is I'm just going to plug the vacuum hose right there into this yellow bit here, just so it can have a reading. And um, there is some wires here to um, connect to the lights, so to light up the boost gauge. But I'm actually going to go to my mechanics today to get a full, a full alarm system installed. Um, so when I do that, um, I'm just going to get them to wire this in as well because I suck at wiring. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just going to plug that in and probably just tape that down there for now. Just to have something that I can drive to and from the mechanics in. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll get started. I think for the boost gauge, it's as simple as literally just putting the vacuum hose over this yellow part right here. So... Just like that. All right, so I've just put in the vacuum line um, into the boost gauge. So I'm just gonna go and grab some tape and just tape it down there over the air vent just for now. So it'll probably be sitting just like that. Um, I reckon I'll start the car just to see if the gauge actually works. All right, so fingers crossed it works. Don't know why my wipers went off. All right, let's give it some throttle. There we go, it works. Alright, so first gate success. I'm going to um, tape that down and I'm just I'm so glad it works. So after I tape that down we'll get started on the front lip. Alright, so I've just jacked the car up, so I guess now it's time to start sorting out this front lip. Let's see if I can figure this out. Just drove by. All right, guys. So basically, um, I've managed to uh, drill in some some bolts underneath. I'll just show you guys quickly. So I've managed to put in some screws, uh, one here and one here as well, and that's held it in just fine. Um, and this one here, as you can see, that screw there is. Um, kind of fucked at the moment. It's still just holding the lip in um, on this side But it's still a little bit loose So I want to try and drill one more hole right there and that way it will um, hold it just perfectly So it's still on pretty good like it's pretty pretty stable, but I, I just have OCD So I want to put one more there just so it's not shaky on the end so the lip is all bolted on, so as you can see, it's nice and, nice and sturdy. So I thought, hectic, that's it, boost gauge is in, this is on, that's it for today. Like, you know, it's just, uh, it's a lot of good progress. But I went over to go check the other side of my lip, and um, I think the, the guys who tried to um, break into my car, or who did break into the car, I think they tried to steal this side of the lip as well, and they've actually broken this part of the lip off. So 
The bottom bits of the lip are still drilled into the car, but they've actually snapped off this exterior bit from the bits that are drilled on. So it's just kind of dangling there. And yeah, so I basically just have to re-drill another hole through here, just to, um, I need to drill a hole through the fiberglass lip and then through the bottom bit and then into the bumper. So yeah, I'm gonna jack up this side of the car and really do that now. Alright guys, so I drilled a new hole, which um, did go well here, um, but I was kind of an idiot. I drilled it too far to the right, so I don't know if you can tell, but it's on the edge of the lip here, right there, so the screw's not going to go in. So I have to drill a new hole that's a bit closer to the middle, so I'm going to do that now. Alright guys, so I ended up using some of these longer bolts to um, get this put in. So as you can see now, nice and nice and firm, not going anywhere. Um, I did have a few failed attempts. If you look underneath, you can see I made many failed attempts. Um, but this one right here is the one that worked. Um, this one here, I did end up, I did put a screw in there, but it was actually too short and it didn't work properly. So putting in a long bolt um, worked perfectly. And yeah, so now my front lip, is completely done. So glad that I managed to get the front lip put back on and even my boost gauge. Um, it's actually pretty funny. It's just like fully mask taped in at the moment. Looks really dodgy, but um, yeah. So today I'm actually gonna head down to my mechanics after I film this video um, and they're gonna install my full alarm system. And on top of that, they're gonna plug in this here. And yeah, that's all gonna be sorted. So yeah, I'm really glad front lip's on, this is on and slowly, slowly the is coming back together. And then after, she is all back to how she was, then the mods can start again. And yeah, I know I'm holding my GoPro right now. Um, it actually ran out of battery, so I'm filming on a phone at the moment. Um, so sorry if the quality changed a little bit. Um, but yeah, hopefully in the next video, we'll be putting more, more pieces of, of the Silvia back together. I almost said Veronica for some reason. That's my integral if you guys know my early videos. Um, but yeah, slowly, slowly she's coming back together. And yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better about it. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all of that will really help me out. And I'll see you guys next time.